Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I'm here with Garrett Curry, who is the brand manager of Edwin the Duck. Tell me about this cute little guy. What, what's his deal? Why, why is he at CES? Uh, okay. Well, Edwin uh, is actually an app-connected smart toy. We like to call him a smart duck. And he basically guides children through his own world of stories, uh, songs, and games. Um, he's also kind of a uh, partner with parents in helping them make their lives a little easier as well. Cool. So is this... Kind of, could you run through all the features that this guy can do? All yeah. the features. He's kind of a Swiss Army knife here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, firstly, um, he does interact with an app, uh, actually several apps that have their own content of stories and games and songs. And you actually control the action on the screen. He is connected by Bluetooth, and he actually works somewhat like a Wii Remote for iOS. Okay. So you control an animated version of him on the screen, helping him go through his adventures. But aside from that, he also is a nightlight. And we have apps that have lullabies and night noises, things like that. He has a Bluetooth speaker, so you can stream any music you want. And he's waterproof. As soon as you put your that's, favorite band in there, throw him into the bathtub or the pool and have some fun. He has a thermometer underneath him, so you can measure your child's temperature and measure the temperature of water. And he will alert you if it's hot on your Apple Watch. <laughs> so he's full of technology. Okay, cool. Uh, so what's your background? What made you get into the duck business? <laughs> duck business. I'm actually uh, a brand consultant, so I run my own company. Okay. And uh, I came on board with PyLab, the creator of Edwin, the smart duck, uh, several months ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, just kind of gave them a boost in their brand messaging and so forth. And I had the privilege of kind of reimagining a lot of things about how they present this character. Okay, cool. Yeah. Now, I'm happy to have him on stage because he is a fellow, uh, well, you're not a Hoosier, but you, this company is car <laughs> based in Carmel, Indiana. Carmel, Indiana. Um, yeah. So tell me about, I mean... You know, the tech scene in Indiana, as I know, is isn't, isn't, awesome. isn't too wild. Uh, <laughs> but, but, but tell me a little bit about how it's let, been like having the company grow there. You know, honestly, the tech scene in Indiana, Indianapolis specifically, is actually doing really well. Hmm. But it's at that point where everyone's, like, still really friendly. It's not like dog-eat-dog. -dog. We're all yeah. kind of for each other, which yeah. is great. Just kind of gives learn. us some breathing room. <laughs> uh, but there's actually, I mean, past technology, I mean, Edwin is, is a character. And uh, Indiana kind of has a, a history in that. Um, Clifford the Big Red Dog is from there. Okay. Garfield is from there. Raggedy Ann and Andy. So next on the, on the list, Edwin, Edwin the Smart Duck. Cool. Um, so let's see, what's, what kind of, how does Edwin being connected what is he able to kind of learn? Are you like doing software updates that is kind of sure. adding special Absolutely. functionality? So um, he, he's, he's purchased retail, but then the app, his initial app is free that has a story with about six games in it, some educational shape matching and color matching games, as well as kind of a song that's kind of karaoke based as well. So that's free. And connecting him by Bluetooth it's actually not just the normal Bluetooth you're used to. It's actually a low energy Bluetooth, so it's two directional. He affects the animated character, and the animated character affects him as well. So it's a very immersive uh, experience for children mm -hmm. where they're actually holding a toy, but they're engaging with a virtual character. Cool. So tell me about, uh, I, don't, I don't entirely know. You can touch him. You don't have to be afraid. <laughs> okay, he is a medical-grade silicone full of technology. You can slam him on concrete. And his accelerometer and his Bluetooth and his LED and his thermometer is not going to break. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm a little concerned about kids throwing him Go as hard it. as they can. It's happened, man. They might need some extra I help. can't say anything about dogs, though. That might be a problem. Uh, so how have, how have kids' kind of reactions been with this guy? Oh, my gosh. Smiles on their faces. Cool. It's been said before you teach a child, you've got to bond with a child. And even though he's full of tech, we hide the technology because we want him to be approachable and friendly. We've made him really, really cute and really, really soft. When we hand him to a child, they immediately bond with him. And once that bond happens, education and stories and lessons become much more engaging because there's a trust and a relationship. Even before, like, the, the app and the technology is revealed, kids are, like, sleeping in bed with them, and they're, like, trying to feed them popcorn and pull them around in wagons. But then they're, like, it's, a, it's like this bonus. It's like, wow, this, this character is, like, coming alongside of me in my learning and in my play. So how long have you guys been around? When, when did the company found it? Lab as a company has been around for a little more than two years. Um, Edwin uh, is our, our pretty much our flagship product. Okay. From concept to distribution in stores, 
We got him in two years okay. in that process. Um, and what's, what do you think's next for PyLab and Edwin specifically? Well, you know, we're, we're a pretty post, big fan. Post-Edwin. What's that? Post-Edwin. Post-Edwin. Yeah. Honestly, there is no post-Edwin right now. Okay. We want to take Edwin even bigger. Um, he's a character, and we speak to him in third person. I mean, he's a real thing. We're very much inspired by him. We're a fan of him. Um, we want to expand his stories to several platforms. We want to take him into cartoons. We want to take him into film and animation. Um, we want to introduce a larger world. So instead of leaving him behind and creating something completely new, we want to take him bigger. We want to make his world bigger and invite more and more people into it. So I think there's right now there's this trend where kind of everything is connected. And if someone came through CES and probably saw there's a smart duck on display, right. they might kind of roll their eyes. What do you kind of think about the future of just kind of having all these kids' toys be connected, yeah. and what do you think is the I think that, that reaction is completely justified, because mm -hmm. I think that it's kind of a rat race right now. Everyone's trying to be the connected toy, and they kind of throw something kind of cliche and cheap into it. Oh, it's connected. Uh, we decided not to do that. We really want to do something genuinely connected, genuinely uh, containing a lot of features and functions and experiences. Um, so I think that what we are doing is introducing what we feel is truly a well-connected toy that I think is up to snuff of people's expectations. Yes, we have people come up to our booth, okay, tell me about the duck. I'm like, all right, hold him and watch this. And all we get is smiles. And nobody goes, oh my gosh, this is awesome. So a lot of people show up as non-believers. We make them believers really fast. What, what kind of partnerships do you think are kind of essential to getting Edwin to take off? Oh, my gosh. Well, um, gosh, from the beginning, he is made in Indiana. I mean, everyone who's on the team is from Indiana, which is crazy. Um, but we've also, you know, the, the co-founders of the company, they come from the tech industry. They have like 15 years of tech experience working together. So dialing up old friends, right, and all those old connections. They have fantastic experiences um, from their own backgrounds, and they've opened up a lot of channels, and people have been supportive and generous, and they have made this thing happen in so many levels. Right now, we're opening up channels internationally as well, and we'll be showing up in the EU and in China within the next couple months. So talk to me about pricing specifically sure. on Edwin. So his uh, retail price is $99. Um, he is, it, it comes with Edwin. Um, it also comes with a uh, charging unit that we call his Nest. He does have a lithium ion battery, so he does have a charging cable that's USB with a wall plug attachment. He's available for $99 at Best Buy. We're in 500 Best Buy stores right now. Okay. Uh, we actually are going to be in all of the uh, North American Apple stores within the next couple of weeks as well. So okay. we're pretty excited. So is this guy going to be able to connect to people's uh, light bulbs and uh, oh, Nest? Oh, we will, we will innovate. We will build upon, but only okay. people are demanding it. Okay. You know, we don't do this blind. We don't just make it up as we go. Okay. So. Um, let's see. Uh, I guess what... what do you, are there any competitors for this right now, or is this kind of a, a space well, that's kind of Well, that's a, frontier? a good question. Are there rubber ducks out there? Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Everybody's like, oh, great, a rubber duck. Um, yes, I think there are. And we've started with a very familiar competitor, and that's the rubber duck. People are, are he's approachable. He's Probably friendly. not $99 rubber duck. No, though. he is the most expensive rubber duck you'll <laughs> ever meet, but the most engaging. He's, he's literally, I mean, honestly, okay, you talk about competitors. Mm -hmm. How many toys grow with a child? I mean, he is, he is designed for newborn up to six years old. How many toys can say that? Mm -hmm. So just the features alone of sleepy time, bath time, wellness, man, newborn to two years old. And then about three, three and a half, starts engaging with the uh, content of the apps of shape recognition, color recognition, counting, mathematics. We're even looking into creating a way for kids to learn early music theory in foreign languages as well. So it just keeps going and going. So you're going to build in some features for the 25-year-old uh, the bath taker who maybe needs it? <laughs> that already exists, and that feature is that he's a Bluetooth speaker. You don't need his app. You just, like, choose him as the unit. There are people that take him in the shower all the time just to stream their music, you know? I mean, we, we're inviting hipster kids to, like, I'm going to a pool party. Let me grab my Edwin, put my favorite band, and throw him into the pool. We actually have some grandparents that bought a couple of these, and they go boating with their grandkids. And so whenever they anchor down to go swimming, they just throw like a couple of these out in the water and play music. It's hilarious. So, <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. Um, let's see. So kind of, I guess most of these questions have been things I was wondering. What, what else can you tell me about Edwin? What else can, okay, I can tell you this. Um, Edwin, his name. Uh, we want to choose a two-syllable name that's easy for kids to remember. That's a little unique. And it literally means faithful friend. And so we thought that that was really appropriate. Um, and him as a character, I'll tell you about him as a character. He is intelligent, and he is curious. 
um, and he's kind of a child as well. And he's kind of the everyman, or every duck, I guess. Yeah. Um, and uh, he doesn't know everything. He makes mistakes, but he tries his best. He learns lessons along we're, the way. We're actually running out of time oh, here. On. I'm going to cut out. Uh, great chatting with you. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. Thanks. Thank you. All right, back to you.